Hi, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to submit an EdMaps report from your phone. So you're going to download the app and then find it, select. This is what your home screen looks like. So you'll see on the left bar here, you have several options. You have your home, which is what this is. This is your home screen. You have your species list, which are species that you can add to your account and have saved from your list that you're interested in. Your upload queue of all the reports that you haven't submitted yet that you're gonna edit or submit later. And then your first, the first thing you're gonna do is select state or province. So we're in Nevada, so we're gonna select Nevada. It's already selected. And what that does is it uploads um, all the information of invasive species that are in your state, so a guide. And so we have our Nevada guide already uploaded so we can easily find species. Now let's say we're ready to submit a report. So we're gonna go to home. Now we're gonna select new siding. And you can see here that the date and current time are already on the top right hand corner. Then we're gonna select add or edit species. We're gonna select plants. And then if you know what kind of plant it is, go ahead and select it. Otherwise, what I normally do is select view all plants. And let's say this is leafy spurge. So we're gonna type leafy, you can see it pop up. It'll give you the scientific name too. And then we're gonna select tap photo. If you already took a photo previously, you can select from library, but we're gonna take a new photo. So we wanna make sure we get a far away photo so verifiers can easily see what it looks like from a distance. Use photo. And then we're gonna to wanna to take at least one more photo so verifiers can see what it looks like up close the, of the leaves and the stem. So we're gonna make sure we're focused So you can see the leaves really well. I'm gonna take one more so we can see what the stem looks like. And then you can see here that it automatically takes the GPS coordinates on your phone. So if you're out of service, you can automatically just save it to your queue for later. So you don't have to submit it right away if you're out in the middle of nowhere, which is a really cool aspect of this app. So then you're gonna select positive because you found this species and you're reporting it as present on this report. You would select treated if you came back to this area that you knew had the species and it looked like it had been treated in one way or another, and then negative if you knew it existed here before and it no longer exists in this area. So most of the time you're gonna select positive. And then you can select time spent in minutes, um, pretty simple. Let's say we were here for 10 minutes, we're gonna select that. If you know what kind of habitat it is, go ahead and select that. If you don't see it, select other. And then if you know what the area in acres or square feet of this entire area of this habitat is then go ahead and fill it in otherwise it's not absolutely necessary um, it could be helpful but it's not absolutely necessary if you don't know and then the density of this actual infestation in this habitat so let's say it's about it takes up about a quarter of this habitat then you select 25 to 50 if it's slightly over if it's slightly under you'd select 5 to 25 use your best judgment and then if you have any extra notes that you want verifiers to know that's not in the report um, you can just go ahead and click and type in in the notes section then we're going to select save report saved it's going to automatically go into your queue so then when you have service and you're ready to report it you can go back and you'll find it here and then you can go back and check and make sure it looks correct and if it looks correct you can go back you're going to select actions in the top right hand corner select it and then you're going to select upload in the bottom right hand corner and that's it